Hello, it's Dr. Sarah Walton, founder of Songwriting Retreats, Workshops and Private Sessions, and Soul Living Workshops and Private Sessions. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to have some practice using our intuition. You are a immensely infinite creative being. You also have a wonderful gift to help you with your creativity and that is your intuition. Most people at school, in fact, I don't know anyone who at school was taught how to use and harness their intuition. I also don't know anyone who at school was taught anything other than think, then write. Very useful approach to writing. We all use it, but sometimes we can get blocked. And if you know how to write from your intuition, you can just write without the thinking bit which sometimes brings with it the inner critic and a lot of self-judgment and it can block us before we even get the words onto the page. So this is a method I developed um, and this exercise, this meditation exercise will, number one, it will give you an introduction to being part of a guided meditation. Number two, give you some practice using your intuition and number three, give you some practice using your intuition in order to write. Um, it's not a long meditation, it will only be for a few minutes and you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a pen, a piece of paper next to you, you won't need more than one piece of paper or you can use a notebook and somewhere comfortable and quiet to sit. Um, could be on cushions, could be on a chair, I'm on a chair now, um, but you need to be comfortable. And the other thing I would like you to consider is that we're going to be inquiring into our inner world. We are going to be engaging with our imagination and our authentic self, our inner voice speaks in images and emotions on the whole, not words. Sometimes words come automatically, that's fantastic, but if they don't, what I'm going to be asking you to do is to translate images and emotions into words on the page. I'm also an author and this is most of the time what authors do. So uh, if we would like to start now and we start by getting comfortable, feeling very present in our body. So maybe taking our shoes and socks off and feeling our soles of our feet on the floor or our sitting bones under the cushion that we're sitting on and feeling safe and held in the quiet place that we found for this exercise. And please connect with your breath and please bring your breath right down into your diaphragm and then down into your stomach. Take three deep breaths, closing your eyes. And once you've got a strong sense of the depth of your breath into your diaphragm, please then take that breath all the way down to the soles of your feet. Of course, you're just imagining this. Your lungs don't stretch that far, but the oxygen that oxygenates your blood does. And then on the next inhalation, please imagine that breath is filled with white light and it is expanding into every molecule and blood cell in your body. And enjoy this breathing, which we take for granted most of the time. And on the next breath, please breathe in that white light. so that the light is expanding beyond your skin and imagine yourself glowing with white light. And slowing the breath down. And starting to enjoy breathing. And if thoughts arise, just come back to the breath, come back to my voice, just for a few minutes and let the thoughts go 
and let any identities go, anything you need to do or be. For the next few minutes, just hang up those identities on a hanger in your imagination and put that hanger in a closet. Or just let those identities drift away. Mother, daughter, friend, writer, software engineer, grandfather, partner, carer, accountant, teacher. Let them drift away or hang these identities up in your closet. You can put them back on in a few minutes. Bring yourself back to the breath. And on every in-breath, imagine this white light expanding a little bit more, becoming a little bit brighter and feel your shoulders relaxing. And I invite you to let go completely of anything you need to do later. Right now, there is just you and the breath. Bring all your conscious awareness to being the breath and the white light. And enjoy this feeling. And as you breathe, I'm going to say a few words. I am joy. Keep breathing. I am love. I am peace. I am infinite creativity. I am whole. I am infinite possibility. I am safe. Keep breathing and expanding the white light all around your body. I am peace. And on the next inhalation, imagine a spark from the centre of your chest. That white light glows and twinkles and sparks into the shoulder of your writing arm. And let that spark in the shoulder of your writing arm move down into the elbow of your writing arm and then down into the palm of your hand. And breathe a couple of breaths here, imagining the palm of your hand is also breathing white light. And now I invite you to pick up your pen and your paper and write down these words. My soul story is, and continue writing. Just flow, translate the images and emotions that you may be feeling in your inner world into words on the page. That's all you need to do. Do not judge it. It won't probably make any sense. Just write. Let the words flow. Translate those images. Just think of the most natural, straightforward, basic word you can think of. You can use your mother tongue, no need to use English, whichever comes easier for you. And translate those emotions, find words for the emotions or the sensations in your body that you may be feeling. Write these on the page. No commas, no full stops. Just keep writing, no judging. Keep translating the images and the emotions and writing them down. They don't need to forge sentences, all they need to do is land on the page. We can edit later. That's it, keep writing. And you can close your eyes at any point and breathe back into that white light at the centre of your being to reconnect and then keep writing.
keep feeling, keep visualising in your inner world. Well done. Now, if you're still writing, then please continue. Keep going, that's fine. Most people don't get too much on the page for this, but some people do like to continue because it's unblocked something and they just keep flowing. But the purpose is just for you to have a sense, have a taster of what it feels like to write without thinking, to write from your intuition. And I would encourage you, if you would like to, to write this out more cleanly perhaps, um, and to read it out loud to yourself. It's a very powerful thing to hear your soul voice, your inner voice, your authentic self speaking for the first time. For some people, this is a release, an emotional experience. For others, it's a very joyful experience and a very beautiful experience because some of us have never actually heard the voice of our authentic self. We are so inundated with messages and voices from society and internalized voices of parents and teachers and other people's opinions that we haven't actually ever connected or heard our own. So please do read it out loud um, a few times. It's a powerful exercise. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. I'm very much looking forward to the next time we meet. There's lots more exercises for you to practice if you wish. Um, I'm Dr. Sarah Walton and this is Soul Writing and Soul Living. And if you want more information, please email me at sarah at soulwriting.co or have a look at www.soulwriting.co. That's C-O. Thank you and see you soon.